Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the problem named number of zero filled subarrays. Okay. So uh, given an integer array nums, return the number of subarrays filled with zero. Okay. Now we know what a subarray means, isn't it? Okay. So in this example, we have six subarrays. How? There are four occurrences of zero, right? Zero, 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 and zero. There are two occurrences of zero and zero, isn't it? Yes. Now in this one, there are five occurrences of a single zero, right? There are three occur occurrences of double zero. 0, double zero, double zero, and there is one occurrence of triple zero, right? So total is nine. Here it's zero, there is no zero, isn't it? Okay, let's say we have this example. Okay, so how many subarrays are there? We can clearly see here is one subarray, and here is one more subarray of length two and three, two and three. But this is also a subarray, this is also a subarray, this is also a subarray, this is a subarray, this is a subarray. This is a subarray as well as this is a subarray, right? So clearly there are more subarrays than we can see, isn't it? So let's say we have this subarray 0, 0, and 0. How many subarrays are there of length 3? One subarray, this whole, isn't it? Okay. How many subarrays are there of length 2? 1 and 2, 2 subarrays. Of length 2, there are 2 subarrays. And how many subarrays are there of length 3? Sorry, 1. This, this, and this right so 3 so total how many subarrays 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is how much 6 okay now let's say we have this subarray 0 0 0 and 0 so how many subarrays are there of length 4 we have one subarray how many subarrays are there of length 3 this one and this one right 2 how many subarrays are there of length 2 1 2 and 3 right see how many subarrays of length 1 clearly 4 right 1 2 3 and 4 okay so the total number of subarrays present contained in this whole subarray is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 okay if you do uh, this okay let's say 5 so it would be something like this 5 4 3 2 and 1 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the sum would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, isn't it? So clearly we can observe one thing that if the length is 4, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 subarrays. If we have if the length is 3, then we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 subarrays. If the length is 5, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, isn't it? So what is this actually? This is a middle school mathematical formula, isn't it? If the length is n, if we have n, the sum of the first n natural numbers from 1 to n is given by n into n plus 1 by 2, right? So if you know this, the problem is almost done, okay? So if, if we have a subarray of length 4, how many subarrays are we going to get from inside within it? 4 into 4 plus 1, that is 5 by 2 that is how much 10 right we got 10 subarrays say if we have 5 subarray uh, 5 length subarray we will get 5 into 6 by 2 that is 15 isn't it similarly for 3 we will get 3 into 4 by 2 that is 6 yes we got 6 right so this is the thing if we have the array given okay just see how much is the length of a particular zero filled subarray okay so if this uh, this is the length zero filled subarray length is 2 so total number of subarrays from this one is going to be 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 so add 3 to answer okay now from this how how, how many are we going to get uh, 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2 that is 6 so our answer is going to be 9 okay so this is the simple algorithm okay traverse through the array if you find a zero filled subarray record the length Okay, when the subarray ends, okay, use this formula and whatever you get, add it to answer. Okay, this is the simple thing. So let's code it up now, okay. So we are going to have a count, okay, not int, it's going to be long, long count, and another variable, let's say length, okay, uh, let's say n equals to zero. So this count is going to be going to count how many subarrays are we getting, and this n is going to record the length of the subarray okay this length 
this length to this length to so this n is going to help us get the number of sub arrays from all the possible sub arrays from this okay and that will be added to count okay so for int i equals to 0 i less than nums dot length i plus plus if nums of i is equals to 0 we have found a 0 start increasing the length incrementing the length okay say we are here let's say we are here we saw a 0 start incrementing n so when we are here n will become 1 from 0 when we are here n will become 2 when we are here n will become 3 when we are here finally when we encounter a non zero number we will use the formula okay else else what count plus equals to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 isn't it add this and reset the length to 0 okay because if say we recorded this length okay in future we are going to we might again come across some other zero fields array right so our n has to start from 0 again isn't it pretty simple thing okay now return count but before that before that we have to update count once more okay let me tell you why let's say let's say this is the uh, array okay zero 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 two zero zero okay so when we were here when we were here we did n plus plus right n became one when we were here n became two and when we were here our iteration stopped right we didn't get a chance to update our count variable isn't it we moved out of bounds isn't it so in case our length is greater than two uh, sorry uh, greater than zero that means there lies a sub array which ends at the end of the array isn't it so in that case we have to explicitly again update our count okay so if n is greater than zero do this just once more okay so now when our count is fully updated we will simply return count it would definitely run instead of putting this condition if we do this that would also work okay first the count variable would be updated then it would be returned okay let's say let's say this was the case okay in this position the length would be updated to zero isn't it so even if we don't put any condition if our length is zero zero would be added to our count right so it won't matter So this is the simple solution okay so if we talk about the time complexity it's because of n and we are not using any extra space right so i hope it's clear if you have any doubt you can comment down in the comment section and other than that if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one Bye bye